Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks. Somebody asked me how crucial the uh, when you join curves, if you go to Windows Dockers and join curves, how crucial is this measurement, the gap tolerance? Well, it just kind of all depends on uh, what you're doing and if you've got same things some closer to the uh, item. So we ha I have a series of lines here, and if we use the parallel dimension tool, this top line from node to node is 0 0.05. The second line is 0 0.06, and so on. I made copies, so every other one is 5, and the other one is 0 0.06. So we're just going to close up the lines that are 0 0.05. So I'm going to select them all with my pick tool, then change over to my shape tool and select all the nodes. And then I'm going to hit apply. And what that did, they closed the gap on all the fives. All the sixes are still open. Now with that said, if we want to close them all, we would just select them all and go to 0 0.06. And now it's going to close them all because uh, it's anything less. And the reason you don't want more, you know, away excess is if we would measure this, these nodes here, see, they're like half an inch apart. So if we set our, you know, tolerance on something too much. Let's uh, just make this scenario and see if it works. Select everything with the pick, to, uh, pick tool, then select everything with the shape tool, and let's type in 0. 0.6. See what it did? It closed all those gaps between those nodes. These are staggered offset, so they're not as close together as the other ones were. See, we're at 0 0.660. So that's how close it is. It's just that little bit of six one hundredths of an inch. It didn't close it, but it did on the other ones. This is really handy when you're drawing something like this. You know, uh, let's just, let's close these nodes and see what happens. So pick everything with your pick tool, go back to your shape tool. Let's just select these nodes and let's go 0.7 and see what it did. Now it closed those nodes and they were at an angle, so it closed them at an angle. Anyway, and then you have completed little boxes that you could fill in. Anyway, I hope that answered their question and thank you for watching.